he's like the best employee ever. He's my boss. Easy Cohen. <laughs> he's always in a good mood. <laughs> Blakely. Blakely. Takes criticism well. <laughs> Doesn't talk back. Blakely. You're being very rude. I don't know of any other zoos really that have a dog specifically for a nursery. But he lives on the zoo grounds. He lives in the nursery. That's his home. You get your yaw yaws out? And I think he's like one of the favorites here at the zoo. Uh, uh, yeah. He has to tolerate all the little baby stuff like chewing on, sucking on, pulling his feet, pulling his tail. Um, he's a companion, he's a socializer, and he's a trainer. He spends lots of times with the babies when they're little. He teaches them how to have appropriate behavior. Dale is our talking at the moment. He's six weeks old, I think, now. It's kind of like a bull in a china closet. He's just running and kicking and flips around, but then he wants to come and lay on your lap like a big dog except he's 50 pounds and he smells really musty. <laughs> he came to us when he was a newborn. His mom um, didn't know quite what to do with him. She didn't want to take care of him, so uh, we brought him up to the nursery. Dale's a herd animal, so he wants a companion. Him and Blakely can rough house and play, and they can exercise. And then he tries to headbutt Blakely, but Blakely's like, no headbutting. Um, so he kind of like dodges that and sometimes he gets nailed and he'll scream and then Dale's like, oh, and you'll see his face. Come on. <laughs> Leg weight, but he needs more exercise and he needs to develop the upper muscles. He wouldn't walk without the dog. So he uses Blakely as, okay, I can follow my buddy and we'll just go and it's all, it's all okay. You want up here? Blakely, can you make that up? Blake. Yay! Blakely also offers a calmness. So if he does get anxious or nervous, he'll go stand either next to me or he'll go stand next to Blakely. And don't eat the flower. If we're okay, he's okay, so. They're like two little kids going for a walk. They have to get into everything. Come on. Come on. These guys get along because they've learned to get along. They don't know until you start telling them, you better run, he's gonna eat you. At this age, they're like, Woo, you're fun. You're a big, fun, fuzzy thing to play with, and they, you know, they can interact. They don't know to hate each other. If we would apply animals to humanity, this would be a lot nicer place. 